And we are back. Welcome to another episode of Broken Age. I am Aki Dabling, and we are at a bird place, I guess. With a weird man I don't, don't really want to talk to. I wanna... I'll take this personally, bird, but I gotta get out of here. Oh. Uh... Oops. Didn't mean to do that. So. It's not safe to go on the uh, clouds. Looks like I should go that direction for more clouds. Yeah, kind of does. Better not touch those. Oh. I don't want to make these giant birds angry. Looks like I should go that direction oh. for more clouds. Let's talk good to birdie. That bird. Yes, you are a good birdie. Want to give me a lift? No? Looks like something's going on down this ladder. Don't you know? Better not touch those. I don't want to make these giant birds angry. Oh. I thought, again. Can I talk to that bird? So, I have... Do you birds want to help me kill Mamchathra? I have quite a lot of directions to go in. I kind of want cloud shoes, though. Careful! Ah. No. Oops. I told you to be careful. It's okay. It's just my whole livelihood is gone, is all. I'm sunk. Sorry. Sorry. About what? About your knife. Oh, right. My knife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. So, what's your name? Carl? Carl? No. Carl. It's Carol, with some of the letters removed for reasons that are too stupid to repeat. One of the letters, you know. Hey, can I ask you about those weird guys down there? My husband and son? Uh, what did they do this time? I think they're going to hurt somebody with those sticks. Oh, my husband would never do that. Harmony has rules against fighting here. So you can say, oh, when this one. Harmony? Harmony Lightbeard? The supposed guru my husband followed up here. I think he's a nut. But I let my husband have his hobbies. <laughs> nice. Your husband is following a guru? He moved the whole family up here so we could study Harmony Lightbeard's philosophy of lightness. But you can't it say else. Life crisis thing. I'm just playing along. Maybe just not in names? I don't think those guys down there are working as hard as you are. Oh, I think they are since I lost my knife. <laughs> you must be very proud. Honey, I'm just trying to survive this phase. Honestly, I wish he had just had an affair like most middle-aged men instead of dragging us all up here. I don't think you do, though. Is that all of them? Well, there's McGee, my teenager. Off their head in the clouds somewhere. You know what I mean. Okay, enough about your family. Oh, sorry. Was I going on about them again? So, Maggie, but that's an A. You can't be called Muggy. That would be weird. You can't make hats without a knife? Hats? I make life-saving cloud shoes here. Or I did, until you came along. You make shoes out of clouds? <laughs> uh, no, shoes that keep you from sinking into clouds. They spread out your weight. Buoyancy is all about it. Wait, I know this. Are you? Volume? Pounds per square inch. Skinny little feet like yours shoot through clouds like popsticks through whipped cream. Do you really eat whipped cream with chopsticks? Only when I'm feeling sad. What? <laughs> nice. That sounds like quite a challenge. Why don't you use your teeth? Shoes made of teeth? That's creepy. Well, I'll let you get back to your work. Ah, my work. <laughs> Can I have a pair of cloud shoes? Hey, can you make me a pair of cloud shoes? Well, I can't make anything without my knife. Well, I'll let you get back to your work. Ah, my work. Great. Great, great, great. So we have to find a knife. Let's talk to the husband. Hi, my name is Bella. What's yours? I am Walt Earl. Walter? Walt Earl. With an apostrophe, 
We admire lightness in all things. No extra baggage, no extra letters. I'm chick. <laughs> oh, sucks to be him. Who are you guys? We're the cleaners, <laughs> of course. We take care of the nests and keep stuff floating. Super important. I guess it's just a vocal of some sort to remove him from all the names. Can you guys help me? I need to get back to sugar bunting right away. You're from sugar bunting? So that's why you smell like frost. Indeed. What's the big rush? Stay here and float a while. I just escaped the maiden's feast, and now Mom Chathra is going to eat the town. You what? Why would you ever run away from such an honor? Such a joyous occasion. Hopefully the upcoming ceremonies in Shell Mound go more smoothly. We just had our Maiden's Feast yesterday. It was awesome! Brother Lightbeard was very pleased. Good luck topping that one, <laughs> Smell Mound. Well, this is a soggy world. Well, I just thought maybe we could fight Mob Chathra instead of feeding it. Oh, that sounds horrible. Why would anyone want to hurt such a noble, endangered creature? Poor Mob Chathra. Because it's killing people. I need to get to Mob Chathra quick. Good idea. If you sacrifice yourself to Mob Chathra, that might set things right. He's very picky, though. And you'd have to compete with the other maidens of Shell Mound. Hmm. Did you say that the next Maiden's Feast was in Shell Mound? Yes. It's so sad. I mean, they're always trying to compete with us, but... Oh, please. Shell Mound girls smell like old seaweed. How do I get to Shell Mound? Um, follow the stink? But I'm cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to talking about Mariloft. I knew this magical place would win you over eventually. How? Well, I'll see you two later. Oops. Farewell. Stick to the paths. Stay on the twigs or you'll eat a pig. No freestyling, Chit. Sorry, Pop. Yes, please. Chit. Who's Jesse? That big blue oligol you rode in on. Oh, really? I guess I owe her a thank you. Actually, take my advice. Stay away. Okay, I will. Why shouldn't I talk to Jessie? Well, one of her eggs went missing when she was out. She's totally freaking out. Yes, I don't think the golden egg substitute we put in her nest is fooling her. Poor Jessie. Where did her egg go? It's against the cleaner code to point fingers. But Gus was on cleaning duty. And it wouldn't be the first time that old fell through. Shh, son. Remember what Brother Lightbeard said? speaks cause leaks <laughs> okay any idea where I can find Jesse's egg if Gus really did take it well he is a little dense mentally and physically <laughs> he probably fell through the clouds and went splat in the forest what's that funny come on it's a bird's egg can you tell me about Brother Lightbeard? Happy to. Harmony Lightbeard is a brilliant philosopher, spiritualist, and buoyancy instructor. We have followed Brother Lightbeard up to the clouds to learn about his philosophy of lightness. Dad gave him all our money. <laughs> Why it, Chit? Oh, yeah. It's a surprise for Mom's birthday. <laughs> oh, no. How are we floating on these clouds anyway? Volume! No, son. Try again. Gee, um, okay. Uh, circumference? Area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about surface area. Pounds per square inch. <laughs> yeah, okay. Don't the birds tend the nest? Well, these birds are not exactly model homemakers. Left to their own devices, they'll lay too many eggs, or get too fat, and then, poof, they'll sink right through the clouds. Don't blow, 
stay afloat. Well, I'll see you two later. Farewell. Stick to the paths. That sounds like a great idea. Okay, so we need to find a knife and an egg. And the egg was with someone. No, oh, he threw it down. So I need to go down, maybe? I don't know. Oh, I need to move. Hi, I'm Mag... McGee. Oh. Hey, what's up? <sighs> Nothing. What did you say your name was? McGee. It's Maggie, but without the A. My dad's idea. Yeah, it's crazy. Don't you mind that your dad took the A out of your name? Well, yeah, but my dad said, Hey, losing an A is better than losing an I. <laughs> Shit. No, that can't be right. Your dad's pretty creepy. He wasn't before he joined this cult. Oh, whoops, did I say that too loud? Your dad's in a cult? Your dad's in a cult? Ah, uh, he's just taking this light bird worship a little too far. But it's okay. At least it got him out of his line dancing phase. Yeah. What are you doing exactly? I'm taking care of these eggs. If it weren't for me, they'd uh get dusty or something. True that. How do you get to the eggs in the high nest? Oh, because I'm so short, you mean? No, I... Uh... I'm just messing with you. <laughs> I have a ladder. Hey, can I borrow your ladder? Mm, okay. Huh, that's awfully small. Hey, short things can surprise you, okay? True. All right. Hey, is there any way off this cloud? You think I'd be here if there were? We used to have a cool feather vader that went straight down to the forest below. But Harmony took it out. Hmm. Why'd they take out the feather vader? Harmony decided that nobody had any reason to leave. Maybe I should just jump. Tried it. No good. Whoops, the birdie guards catch you and bring you back. What you need is a ladder, but it would have to be much taller than mine. Okay. Lightbeard's really serious about this lightness thing, isn't he? Oh, yeah. People say he only eats feathers. Ick. But it's not true. Good. He only licks them. That's way worse. Yeah. Hey, what kind of bird lays those golden eggs? Oh, those? Those are egg substitutes. We make them for the older, senile gulls who forget they don't have eggs. Hmm. Why are they made of gold? The heaviest stuff we have. We want them to be heavy, so the gulls can't carry them off and lose them. Oh. That's nice. Hey, nice cloud shoes. Duh. My mom made them for me. All the other kids have cool name brand cloud <laughs> shoes, but I get homemade. Oh, but don't tell her I said that. Huh. The shoe thing is all she's got. Well, I'll leave you alone. <sighs> okay. Okay. So we need a bigger ladder. Oh, that's look. That look a knife up there. It can extend? Nobody it's told me that. Mom's special ceremonial knife. So, can I take these eggs? Those don't look like Jesse's. Better leave them alone. Uh, no, I think we're going to go Don't back. take this personally, Bert. And give this lady her knife back. No, not her knife, but this knife. That's some knife. Good balance, nice heft. Yeah. Ooh, and a blood gutter. No, that's for the filling. The less I know about the knife's history, the better. Here. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, I know, they're big, but you'll grow into them. Trust me, you hit 40 and you're going to be grateful for a pair of comfortable shoes like that. <laughs> well, thank you. 
I'm not quite 40 yet, but can, can I not put them on? I can't get them to stay on my feet. Oh my. Oh my freaking. Oh, this is a scary place. Maybe. Man, I hope that's not a real bird. Me too. I don't like the way that one's looking at me. Nobody does. But this is it for this episode. Thank you for watching and see you in another episode on life or whatever. Bye bye.